What is going on guys? Grave here. Welcome back to Rainbow Six Siege. Today we did receive update 1.85. I will link these patch notes down in the description if you guys would like to read over them for yourself. Let's go ahead and hop right into it. They talked about the quick match map pool. They said it will remain the same through year 5 season 1 and will rotate again in year 5 season 2. When it comes to Buck, there were some changes to uh, kind of the way that his character will play now. Frag grenades have been replaced with claymores, which is a big change. A lot of people have used, been used to using Buck with those uh, grenades. I think this is going to change up maybe how often Buck is picked. We'll have to wait and see. They also increased the skeleton key magazine size. Uh, the magazine capacity has increased from to 5 plus 1, and the max ammo count is now 25 plus 1. They also reduced the number of volcanic shields down to 2 from 3. Uh, Jaeger has also had a nerf somewhat. He is now a two-speed, two-armor operator. Mozzie has had the uh, shorty, or the super shorty secondary removed as well. Ying has had some buffs to uh, the character overall. The uh, T95 damage is up to 46 from 43. Replace claymores with smoke grenades and also uh, increase the amount of flash gadgets she can carry with her from four up from three. Uh, Caviera's M12 now has the Razor Holographic Sight as an option to use. And when it comes to the TCSG12, they add an additional magazine and reduce the damage to 57 down from 84, which is a pretty big in, uh, decrease. But kind of have to wait and see how much that changes that weapon overall. The barricade replication issue where the barricade is not destroyed for all players in the game except the shooter has been fixed. The dynamic player button does not update properly when the, ma the last match or event uh, discovery playlist has also been fixed. Players can now clip inside uh, the construction side of Oregon has been fixed. Game uh, boosts with the DX11 when players manually selected uh, in Steam install when it was manually selected inside the Steam installer folder has been fixed. Uh, minor menu shop visual customization changes and lighting issues on the consulate map has also been fixed. This was hot fixed for PC on March the 30th. These changes are just now coming to the console version of the game. Anyway, guys, let me comment with your thoughts. What do you think about these changes, of course, to some of these pretty uh, important operators or some of these operators that are picked a good bit? I think you'll see Ying picked a little more now because of the changes to her particularly, and I'm wondering kind of what everyone thinks about Buck and Jaeger overall. Of course, if you like the video, hit the like. If you have not subscribed yet, please do so. If you are a subscriber, click the bell icon in the top right corner so you know when all my videos go live. Uh, if you have a chance to share the video, please do. It does help out the channel a lot. And be sure to check out GT Racing. They are the affiliate here on the channel. They sell gaming chairs and office chairs, and all their information is linked down in the description. And I'll catch you all next time. Peace.